What's up everybody? In this video, we're going to take both of these expressions, we're going to expand them, and then we're going to simplify them. So starting off with number one here, we got four bracket three x minus two squared. So right away, I'm actually just going to rewrite this as three x minus two times three x minus two. And over here, we got minus two x plus one squared. So this I will rewrite like that. And then over here, I will rewrite this as is for now. So what we're going to have to do for each of these is we're going to have to foil out the brackets. So for this first one, we got the four in front. And then when you foil it out, what would you end up with? We would have nine X squared minus six X minus six X plus four that would be in brackets. And this goes in brackets because this four, we're gonna have to multiply by that whole expression in the brackets. So make sure you keep it in brackets there. So then we got minus over here, what would we end up with? After we foil this uh, out, we would have four X squared plus two X plus two X plus one. And then over here, after we foil it out, we would have 4x squared plus 12x minus x minus 3. All right, again, keeping that expression in brackets and the minus 7 outside of the brackets. So at this point, what we can do is we could distribute the 4 inside the bracket. But before we do, I would first simplify each of these brackets. So look at these like terms here. So this would be 4 and in brackets, 9x squared minus 12x plus 4. You don't have to. You could distribute the 4 to both of these terms. But um, I usually just like to simplify always first. I feel like the chances of then making a mistake are less. So 4x squared plus 4x plus 1 minus 7. And this would be 4x squared. Um, plus 11x minus 3. So distributing the, uh, distributing the 4 inside the bracket, we would get 36x squared minus 48x plus 16. And we would have minus 4x squared minus 4x minus 1. And here we would have minus 28x squared minus uh, 77x plus 21. So 36x squared minus 4x squared minus 28x squared, that would give us what? That would be 32x squared minus 28x squared. That would be 4x squared. Minus 48x minus 4x is negative 52x minus 77x. That would give us minus 129 x, I believe. And then 16 minus 1 is 15 plus 21. That gives us uh, 36. So that there is your simplified expression for that expression. And then moving on to this second one here, we got four bracket two x minus five to the power of three. So this we could rewrite as four, two X minus five times two X minus five times two X minus five. So what you do with these, what I would do at least is I would first foil out these two. So these two brackets, and when you do that, you would end up with four X squared when you simplify those middle terms, you would end up with minus 20 X plus 25. And we still have this bracket two X minus five remaining. Um, yeah, that seems correct. So now what I would do is I would foil out these two brackets. So we have more terms to deal with here. So you gotta be really careful. So I would take this two X 
and multiply it by everything inside the bracket. So 2x times 4x squared gives us 8x cubed. 2x times negative 20x gives us minus 40x squared. And 2x times 25 gives us 50x. And then minus 5 times 4x squared gives us minus 20x squared. Minus 5 times negative 20x gives us 100x. And then minus 5 times 25 gives us uh, minus 125 in brackets there. So this is all in brackets. And before distributing the 4 inside the bracket, I would first simplify everything. So 8x cubed. That is by itself. Now, this minus 40x squared minus 20x squared, those are like terms, so that would be minus 60x squared. And 50x plus 100x gives us 150x, and then we got the minus 125. All right, so you gotta be very careful with your algebra when you're doing these questions, especially with uh, the plus and minuses. So from here, uh, this would be 32x cubed. This would be minus 240x squared plus uh, 150 times 4 gives us 600x. Minus 125 times 4 gives us minus 500. So that there is your final answer to this expansion there. All right, so when you got this power of three, you got to write out three brackets. You got to expand two of the brackets first, then expand that third bracket inside that first bracket that you expanded. So um, yeah, it's pretty tough. You just got to be uh, careful with your algebra. Just make sure you're really diligent because any slip up in multiplication or any slip up in a sign, you're going to get the wrong answer. So uh, yeah, just be careful and you should be fine.